Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Richard Johnson with CombatMiniatures.org. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Uh, you'll get updates, uh, current content, what's going on, and uh, also you get a chance to win and, and participate in our several giveaways that we uh, do throughout the year. Anyway, big quick video uh i shouldn't say big but a quick video here wanted to say hello it's been a bit a while since we've touched base with everybody uh i was wanting to uh, do a video right after bbr chicago wasn't able to uh time just got away from me but hey i just want to give a shout out to the madman and moose cow uh who um hosted the event up there in chicago great success congratulations to the winners uh good turnout I i'm I'm guessing this is going to be, uh, he hasn't confirmed it, but uh, I'm guessing it's going to be an annual thing. Uh, it's definitely closer for me. Uh, I did not participate in it, but I did uh, make it over there on day two. On day three, I did sit in and was able to play Japan for a couple rounds, which was actually kind of fun. And I, I wish I was able to stay and finish it out. Uh, I think uh, I was doing, I think after two rounds, I, I looked pretty good. But anyway, um, congratulations to those guys. Um, this weekend, if you guys, if you war gamers are participating in Oklahoma, uh, in uh, my right outside of Tulsa, I believe, is Twisted Lords Con, I think is what it's called. And uh, if you guys are going to there, good luck. I know there's several games uh, that will be, uh, be going on there. Um, I know Historical Board Gaming is going to be showing there in several of their games, so that's awesome. Uh, good luck to you guys, and um, yeah, have some, have a good time. Uh, I, I know, I don't know how, I know in Texas, I'm up here in Iowa, and the weather up here has been pretty comfortable. Um, I understand down there in Texas, though, and I don't know about Oklahoma, but uh, heat wave. So anyway, good luck to everybody down there. So, a uh, couple, couple things I want to mention. Don't forget, everyone, about our affiliate program. Uh, this program is for those of you that have uh, Facebook pages or blogs or websites. Um, and even if you don't have any of those, but you want to get some commission, what you do is go to the website, sign up to join the affiliate program. You'll get a special code. Then you tell all your friends uh, and followers about this special code. And if they make a purchase at Combat Miniatures, now it's only under decals and organizational labels right now. But so if anyone uses your special code at checkout and they buy any of our decals or organizational labels, you'll get a 20% commission. Uh, which, of course, in turn, you can, I believe, this would be a credit, and you can just use that uh, at the website, combatministers.org. It's free to join, guys. Uh, we have right now, I think, eight or nine signed up. Uh, nobody has nobody has used it so far, but it's free to sign up. I think it's a great way to earn some extra, uh, extra money, really, commission. And then, of course, you can buy... Things. If, if you're like me, uh, the reason I started Combat Miniatures is I had to feed my addiction, which was I was a piece junkie. And so I'd buy pieces and pieces. And so I thought, I was like, you know what? I think I can paint and sell some of my extra pieces. And, and here I am. And now you see me. So anyway, what else did we want to talk about? Uh, we talked about Twisted Lords Con, BBR, affiliate program. Also, hey, make sure you guys are signing up for our VIP text marketing uh, club, you get uh, instant 5% off on your next purchase. So again, some free money, uh, some free credit that you can use towards your next purchase, 5%. Why not? So anyway, all right, hey, I want to show you guys some of the new things that we have going on. We have some new games from uh, a new game, uh, Iwo Jima, from General Six Stars uh, that he has created. He brought you... Um, Battle of the Bulge, Advanced Battle of the Bulge, as well as Operation Overload. Yes, those are the games that he brought, and I know he, oh, in 1941. And he's uh, working on some other games. Um, 
great segue. If you guys have games that you're working on or if you have games that you've been play testing and you feel that uh, it's ready to go and you're needing somebody to publish it, print your maps and sell it, let me know. Um, my information is on the website. Actually, I'm going to put it right here. You can just email me and, uh, and we can uh, see what you guys got and we can go from there. Um, also, if you guys have ideas about uh, items that you think we need in our community to help our games or to um, make, our, make our games even better, uh, more attractive as I would say, um, let me know on that. Bring your game alive is uh, also something else I say. So, okay guys, uh, why don't you guys give me a minute. I'm going to switch over to, uh, to the, uh, the website here. I'm going to share my screen and we're just going to go over some new things. And I think that's about all I had on my notes. Like I said, it's a quick minute. We're already at six minutes. So yeah, just give me a minute here. One second. All right, here we are, guys. We're on our home page here, and uh, as we scroll down, um, we did organize this to try to make it a little better as far as navigation, but again, navigation is not perfect, and it's an ongoing struggle. So if you guys can't find something, please let us know, and uh, we can help you. Um, I'm usually pretty quick on the chat. Uh, if you guys do that, it just goes right to my phone. So I can help you guys find something if you can't find it. Uh, or if you have suggestions, please let me know. Send me an email and we can, and, uh, we can uh, help that out. Uh, you know, whatever helps you guys navigate or my customers navigate through the website um, and help you guys make purchases, hey, I'm, I'm all for it. Um, but first off, I, here's some of our new things that we've introduced here in the last uh, few weeks or so. Um, let's just remember, uh, serious war gamers always dress for the occasion, and that is why here at Combat Miniatures, we uh, we try to do as many shirts and long sleeves and hoodies and hats as we can because we know serious war games. One, you know, war gamers, the dice may not be rolling for you, but at least you're going to be looking good while doing it, right? All right, so take a look at those. Some new T-shirts. Long sleeves. We got some new paint sets. Uh, Kriegsmarine, World War II German colors from Vallejo. Uh, now, the magnetic sea mines, uh, these are not ready yet. They should be good to go by next week. Um, but if you guys have any house rules for 1914 or your global uh, or a, a global war uh, uh, type game, which is based World War I game, hey, these, uh, these magnetic mine stickers were great. You can peel them off uh, safely um, from your board or your map. But, uh, yeah, so we'll be having those here probably next week. Our very own Troy Ritter here got us uh, a mold for a neutral soldier. This is based off of a Pol World War II Polish soldier. I need to give him some credit here on the description. Uh, but he does a great job with sculpting and doing those 3D rendering. I don't know how he does it, I wish I knew how, but uh, that would be just one more thing that I would have to teach myself to do, and I already am teaching, doing a lot, wearing a lot of hats. But anyway, so we got that. Those are, are ready to go now. You can get 10 soldiers for $10. Take a look at these, eight piece Axis and Allies 1914 Roundel production set. It's not global, I guess I screwed up the title. But here you go, for you guys that got all the 1914 uh, reprints, uh, which I just saw at a game shop this weekend here in Des Moines, actually just the other day here in Des Moines, but that's general over at the uh, Chicago BBR tournament had, had some from us, and, and there you go. Kind of see what you're, what you're looking at, though. Turned out real nice. Those, are, those are, were great. Uh, battle for Iwo Jima right here. Rules are still in the uh, playtesting phase. They'll be coming out here soon. But we got the map and the setup charts. So you guys want to be patient. I'm sure uh, General Six Stars is working on that. It should be out shortly. Um, we also added another uh, 3D printed soldier from Troy Ritter. Uh, World War II German. So uh, there you go. So those are some new things. We weren't, we're not going to keep you guys. But... Um, 
there you go. Take a look and um, at our new arrivals, always adding new stuff. And, and again, if you guys have any ideas uh, or anything, shoot me an email. Uh, but uh, before I let you go, last month was my was our anniversary month. We we're six years. Uh, June 2017 is when we went live. And we're still around here. And if it wasn't for you guys, uh, the love and support and the community, um, we couldn't have done it. So thanks again. Thanks again for your patience. I am a, uh, it's only me, myself, and I here uh, behind Combat Miniatures. Um, and so I know my shipping could be better, uh, could be quicker in some cases, but, um, but we're, we're trying to get better. I, I would love to, uh, we had a young man helping us here for a little while when I was in Texas and up here in Iowa, I don't have anybody helping me, so. But anyway, all right, guys, enough of that. We will talk to you soon. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Good luck for you guys down there in Oklahoma. And we will talk to you all very, very soon. All right, guys, thanks.